one of the sons of the church that is going to come at this time. I call him the maestro. He has been such a blessing to the ministry of West Angeles Church and the music ministry. He has brought us to another level of excellence. Amen. You know him and you know his songs in the sanctuary. I almost let go. God, great God. God blocked it. Amen. So at this time, would you give a good West Angeles welcome to the maestro, Kurt Carr. A good God bless you. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's good to be home. Hey, cousins, how y'all doing? I am so excited about being able to be here today. I've had a really tough year. Um, a year ago, I had been in the house for two years, didn't go, didn't travel anywhere. I did everything Dr. Fauci told me to do. And we did one trip, and I went to Atlanta, did a concert, it was amazing, and flew back home and laid down and slept for 48 hours. I, did, I couldn't wake up. My best friend of 29 years, best friend of all my entire life, called me 29 times, I didn't answer the phone. And he got on a plane, it's good to have friends. He got on a plane, came to my house, I was unresponsive, they had to bust the door down to come to me and said, if I had laid there four more hours, Judy, I would have been dead. So I'm glad to be home today. I said, I'm glad to be home today. And why is this home? In 1986, I moved from Hartford, Connecticut. Yes, they have black people in Connecticut. I had just finished school at the University of Connecticut studying music. And I was discovered by Reverend James Cleveland. I became his piano player, traveled all over the world. My name literally was the little short boy that plays the piano for James Cleveland. I moved to Los Angeles in 1986 and I got saved in the Holy Trinity Church of God in Christ. And I knew that I had to find a Kojic church in LA to be my home church. So I came to West Angeles, and as I was mu music director for Reverend Cleveland, whenever I was home, I would come to West Angeles first, get the word, pay my tithes, and then I would go to work and play somewhere else. Little did I know that Bishop Blake noticed me there for three years, and we got to know each other, and when Reverend Cleveland passed away, he invited me to be a part of the music ministry, and I was so pleased to hear what Magic said. When I got here, it was like, first of all, I'm from Connecticut. That's like Kansas compared to LA. I said, what can I do? They got Judy and Norman Hutchins and Patrick Henderson and all of the great musicians that have come before me. And just like Magic said, I said, well, I'll just be me. All I was was a piano player, but Bishop Blake poured into my life and spoke to me. And I remember him telling a story that he saw the magnificence of the Crystal Cathedral. And he went into a chamber and prayed and said, God, if you could do this for Robert Schuller, what can you do for me? And I don't know if they remember, but Sister Blake, I'm sorry, Lady Blake and Bishop would be in the office working and I'd be in that church in the, on the other campus. I'd be in that church making so much noise and they never stopped me. I would go there and just lay before God and seek the face of God. And God began to give me song after song after song. I didn't know if they were good. I didn't know if they were good, but I tried them out on y'all. And Bishop Blake, I love you. Thank you, man of God, for believing in me. You saw something in me, and I know uh, for sure that when I got here, there were a lot of people that were like, I don't know about him, but you said, I believe in you. 
And a lot of people don't know this, and I'm gonna say it now so the rumors can stop. I'm not dead. I did not have a stroke. None of that is true. Last week, I had to have surgery on my eye, on my eye, so I can barely see you, but I knew that if I could just get home, and there was no way that they were going to have a tribute for my bishop, for my bishop, without me being here, and bishop, I want to say this to you. direct the choir because I'm sure and it gives me power. <laughs>
Something happened. Something happened. Wait, cut the music for a minute. I want to prove that there's power in the name of Jesus. Everybody, as loud as you can on the count of three, say your first name. One, two, three. Nothing happened. Now, as loud as you can on the count of three, say your mama's name. One, two, three. We love you, mom, but nothing happened. Now tell somebody, I need some room. I'm getting ready to call the name that's above every name. The name that makes demons tremble. One, two, three. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus.
Somebody said it all started right here at our church. Our church. Tell somebody that's our cousin up there. Let on. Let on the people. It's for you, Pastor Charles. Let on. Let on the people. Praise him now. Saints of God. How many of you in here know that you're blessed? But is there anybody here that realizes your blessings are so amazing nobody could have done it but God? Look at somebody and say, nobody could have done this but God. Now I Bishop want to do something there are three things that I say church people hate they hate being hungry they hate sin no they hate your sin and they hate new songs sing God is trying to tell you something I thought I would do it as a gift to my bishop and to Elder Charles, a new song, and I believe all of my, I tried all my songs out on y'all. So if they work on y'all, it's gonna work on the world. So if we make it through this one, I need, to, I need a West Angeles seal of approval. But the song says only God could have done it. Everybody hot, well you can't touch nobody. Just look it in somebody's direction. And with your mask on, just yell out, nobody could have done this for me but God. Nobody could have done it but God. Come on, clap those hands. Make some noise. Cut the music. God has done this. God has done this. He has blessed us. God has done this. It's marvelous in our eyes. God has done this. I love you, Lady Blake. God has done this for us. God has done this for us and 
church, lift your hands, lift your hands. And everybody say, only God. How many of you know you walk in an only God blessing? I need to I need to hear some praise like some miracles have gone forth in here. Tell somebody I'm getting ready to praise God. Because only He could have blessed me like this. And this church is getting ready to go higher. Do you believe it? Only God. Jesus, Jesus. 